here comes the story, ladies and gentlemen. Alright guys, so this is going because of not by spells. The finals of Rave, Sundrop and Mail Band member, Rear Moondrop story. Let's see what happens. This is a prologue, Shepherd the Hero Jogs come. Michael Atkins Provo. Today is the day we got the, a new glam rock band. We may have to represent more of the glam rock culture. I was really well, I was excited to have this animatronics in our establishment. They are the most awesome band ever from their pizzeria and they gave us the animatronics because the elderly couple were retiring and they wanted to give us their band. I was so excited to have them here. Oh, they are here. I can't wait to see them. I thought going to the boxes with a band in them. I looked at the boxes and I smiled and looked at the master to open the boxes. Okay, sir, let me open the, it for you. Vanessa, that Vanessa. I smiled and looked at each box being opened. And I smiled and saw they looked just like they were at their old place. I smiled and looked at the Tony Glam Rock Panda Bear. And they were right. They, he looked trans to me. I smiled as she turned them on and they started to move. Then they looked at me and they bowed out. Hello, Master Tori Satoi. Hello, Kami Boss. I spoke. Yes, Boss Satoi. So let's show you guys to your rooms, said Vanessa. Yes, ma'am. Satoi. They followed Vanessa to their rooms. They smiled and got there to their musical instruments. So they put them in their places. For them to you, I smiled and headed back to my office. I smiled and looked at how this could benefit me and the company. I smiled and looked back at the cameras and saw what Vanessa was doing with the um, new animatronics. I smiled and looked at the other animatronics and they were doing their own things. I hope this goes to play, I thought. I smiled and looked back at Vanessa and the new animatronics. They are going to be a big deal. I smiled and looked at my picture of me and my family with my cousin Tony where, where he is, where he is. I hope he is okay. He is the one to keep us all happy in our lives. I hope you are doing fine, Tony Emily. I was thinking about Tony. And he was our light in our darkest times. He is, he is always going to be our light if he is still going to be missing. So I hope you are doing fine like Ray's cousin. And if you are alive, I hope you are doing well. I smiled and had a tear in my eye, thinking about him out of my life and what I went through all my life. He is going to be there soon in my life, I hope. I hope you are still alive, Tony. Because uh, we all miss you in our lives, I thought. I smiled and wrote the picture of who he was and who he was to all of us. He is everything we needed in our life. In our life. And he could be the one to fix our relationship with each as a family. I hope you are hearing me, Tony. Or you are still with me. I thought in my head, Tony. Achoo! I sneezed and the group looked at me. Hey, Tony, are you okay? Hey, Tony, are you okay? Said Charlie. Yeah, just felt like someone was talking on me. The real me, I spoke in a whisper to them. Oh, God, who could do that? Said Rita. I don't know, I spoke. So let's stop talking about it. The girl is looking at us, sick as. Okay, we all spoke. We looked at her and she opened her mouth and we waited for her to speak. So, um, what is it about you guys? Said the girl. Well, Tony was killed as a young teen. So he was put into an amateurish form. And we were also the same, but Tony knows who he is in his life. When he died, but we don't did not know who we were as our real lives to Charlie. 
So, oh, so, um, someone killed you? Said the girl. You can say that, I spoke. Well, that is hard, said the girl. So, what is your name? Said Br asked Bryce. It's Vanessa, said Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa, I spoke. Hello to you, too, darling, said Vanessa. So, um, you probably get this from the uh, security guards. But what was your real name, said Vanessa? It's Tony Emily, I spoke. So let me get this right. You are Henry Emily's son, said Vanessa. Well, I'm a trans son, I spoke. Wait, you're trans, said Vanessa. Can't you tell what his body type? Can't you tell about tell what his body type, said Charlie. Oh, yeah, now I can tell, said Vanessa. Thank you for figuring it out, I spoke. So this is Charlie's room, said Vanessa. Oh, cool. Thank you, Vanessa, said Charlie. Let's check out your Charlie's room, said Rita. Okay, guys, you can check out my room, said Charlie. Well, Charlie, this is the perfect room for you, said Bryce. Yeah, it matches you perfectly, said Charlie. Yeah, it matches me perfectly, said Charlie. I can agree with that, I spoke. Thank you, Tony, said Charlie. We looked more at what Charlie had in her room, and it had matched up with her personality and style. The other couple who had us over the years knew our kind of style and our kind of personality for our room, and they gave the new place what we wanted in our room, just like our, our old rooms. I smell and saw our fan posters, on the walls, and it, it was big part of Charlie, for Charlie, and I smiled, and that they added the posters. Charlie loved, and the pictures the ch kids drew for us. She loved that from all the kids. This is Charlie's room, so Charlie has a princess-style Japanese room. The posters, so they got Glam Rock, Bryce poster, you got Glam Rock, Habs poster, you got Glam Rock, Rue Charlie poster, you got Glam Rock, Tony poster, you got Glam Rock, Rita poster, you got the kid, Glam Rock, Bryce art picture, you got Glam Rock, Habs art picture, you got Glam Rock, Charlie p art picture, you got Glam Rock, uh, Tony art picture, you got Glam Rock, Rita p art picture. I just love this room, said Charlie. No, no, let's go to the next room, I spoke. Yes, sir, said Al Charlie. I smiled and we headed to Rio's room. It was open and she was shocked to see what her room was like. It was the old place. I smiled and hugged her. See, you have the same room as the old place, I spoke. I did not know why it was going to be like this, said Rita. She smiled and we both looked into her, more of her room. And it was nice. It was so nice uh, for her. I smiled and saw what she really loved to do. I smiled and looked at her and she hugged me more. So are you guys a couple of seven Elsa? No, Tony is gay, Sarita. So a family bond with each other, seven Elsa. He is our older sibling that raised us from when we got killed, said Charlie. Oh, that is so cute, said Vanessa. Yeah, it is. So much cute with him, said Charlie. Can you at least stop talking about me like I'm um, not here? I spoke, blushing. Sorry, said Charlie and Vanessa. A smile rubbed their heads. Hey, it's okay. Let's just see how good job you guys did for Rita's room. I spoke, well, um, thank you, said Vanessa. Yeah, it's so much like Rita, said Charlie. I know it is, said Bryce. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, I know it is, said Bryce. So let's have a good day together, said Charlie. Yeah, we can do that, said Vanessa. I smiled and looked at my friends who were like family and directed with the security guard, Vanessa. This is Rita's room. So Rita's room has art pictures, a blue wall, a polka dot bed, striped bluish white flooring, an egg chair, some books and other stuff polka dot curtains. She has a drawing desk because she likes to draw. She has a computer desk for her work and typing stuff. She has a gaming desk because she likes to game. She has anime care shelves 
She has an anime bookshelf. She has an anime DVD shelves. And then she has a TV and Blu-ray player on the stand. I smile, looked at my crew. Then I looked back at Vanessa and she was looking at me. Is there something wrong? I asked. She pointed at to the intro behind me. I turned around. Well, hello, the, hello, sir. I spoke. Hello, sir, as well, sir, the mail. May I search in the name of the person I am talking to? I spoke. My name is Sunjob, said Sunjob. Hello, Sunjob. I am Tully, I spoke. Hello, Tully, said Sunjob. I smiled, looked at my crew, mates, and they smiled and kept going. So I looked at Sunjob and looked at him and started to talk. Hello, are you there, Tully, said Sunjob. Oh, yeah. I'm here, I spoke. I hope you are very okay, said Rita. I hope you are very okay, said Rita. Oh, you are very hard for us. Oh, you are very hard for us, said Charlie. Can both of you is too quick, said Bright. Can both of you too quick, said Bright. Let's see how it wanted to can be done for them, said Charlie. Oh, look, he is getting fire on his head again. Oh, look, he is getting fire on his head again, said Cass. Oh, no, crud, run, said Charlie. Taking up Vanessa and running with her for their lives. What is going on? asked Vanessa. It's something we all fear about Tony and sick as and that is, asked Vanessa. When he is angry, it's like he is on fire with some sort of superpowers, said Charlie. Oh my, said Vanessa. Yeah, so I hope Sunjob can calm him down, said Kaz. Oh, I hope so too, said Vanessa. You I will tell you, Sunjob, I want you guys to get back here. Now I spoke on fire. Wow, calm down, little panda, said Sunjob. What did you, oh, um, that is so cute, I said, calm it down. So tell me, why do you burst out into fire when you get angry, said Sunjob. Oh, it's how I react. I spoke, I smiled, and he was smiling as well. When they got back to us, I smiled and saw them shocked. I gave them the... Look, and they were shocked to each other, of each other. I smiled and looked back at Sunjob. Oh, you are so good at keeping the, your team in line, said Sunjob. I smiled and looked back at my tear team. I looked at Vanessa and saw what she was thinking, so I laughed. It was quite funny, her reaction. So let's go back to the next room. I rooms, I spoke. Yes, sir, sir, my team and Vanessa. I smiled, we were about to walk and kiss Sunjob's cheek. See you next time, Sunjob. I spoke, leaving with my team. And Vanessa, see you next time, Tell I said Sunjob in a loud voice. I smiled and we got to the next room of the band. I smiled and it was Bryce's room. We both smiled at each other. We knew what Bryce's room would be like. And it was quite funny. I smiled the door open and it was funny because it was just like Bryce's old room. Back in the old our old place, he was happy and dancing around in place. It was funny for him to always do it. This is Bryce's room. So Bryce's room is a blackish color with a black bed with yellow and different colored pillows. He has two lights, he has a fan and white curtains. White window curtains that you pull open. He has a white ceiling. He has a floor that is yellowish tan colored. He has plants everywhere. He has a video game shelf. He has a second video game shelf. He has a video game TV stand. He has an anime shelf. He has an anime book shelf. He has a computer desk to any ones. I smile and looked at how happy Bryce was. He went into his room and Cass pulled him back to the group. I smiled and laughed. Peace out, guys.